What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. As you guys know, Android just released the December security patch for Marshmallow in version 6.0.1. Now this also includes some all new features and most of you guys probably know that it includes all kinds of new emoji. It's more than 200 emoji if I'm not mistaken. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the update without wiping your data. It's a simple one-click flash all dot bat and it doesn't wipe your data. Big shout outs to Root Junkie for providing us with this file. Then once we have it installed, I'll show you guys all the new features. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you wanna do is grab the file for either the 5X or the 6P, download that file and place it on your desktop. All right, now before we get started, you're gonna to have to have the ADB and Fastboot files installed on your computer. I will link in the description to a 15 second install. You also wanna make sure that your drivers, your USB drivers are installed. I'll be sure to include links in the description for how to take care of that as well. From here, we're gonna to need to make sure that we are in fast boot mode. So we will power off the device. Okay, then we'll go volume down and power until we're in fast boot mode. Okay, from fast boot mode, we're just gonna set our phone to the side, uh, extract the file that we just downloaded from the root junkie download server and open up that file. Inside the file, you're gonna find this flash all no wipe. So go ahead and double click on that. Say that you understand the risk and run the app anyways. That's gonna go ahead and flash 6.0.1 without wiping your device, which is pretty awesome. That means you get to keep all of the data that was on your device. This is gonna take several minutes to do its process, but this has to be the easiest way to accept the update. Uh, if you grab the stock image from Google, you'd have to flash each one of these parts separately, which can be kind of frustrating and painstaking um, because their flash all dot bat for whatever reason doesn't work. Root Junkie has modified the flash all dot bat where it actually works. And then he's also included that provision where it doesn't wipe your data, which is even better because if you download and install the stock image from Google, you're gonna have to wipe your data to install that. So this is pretty sweet, pretty awesome. If you did wanna go ahead and wipe your data, there's also a flash.bat for that as well within the same folder. So we're just kinda of let this do its thing. It's gonna take, like I said, up to 15 minutes. So as soon as it's finished, we'll come back to it. Okay, so when we're all finished, you're gonna see this, press any key to exit and reboot. So we'll press any key. That's gonna automatically reboot our device into Android 6.0.1. All right guys, so what we'll do here is I'll go into my settings about phone, you'll see that we're now running version 6.0.1. So one of the main features here is gonna be the Android security patch for December. That's included in this update. And then there's some other more interesting features that are included. One of my favorite features here has always been included on the Nexus 6P, but it is now available for the Nexus 5, 6, 7, and 9, the double tap power button to launch the camera. So like I said, this has always been available on the Nexus 6P and 5X, but it's now available for the 5, 6, 7, and 9, which is pretty awesome. Another really big change in 6.0.1 is the all new emojis. So if you have friends on iOS and they send you text messages, you're probably getting some emojis that you wish you had, and now you have them on this latest version of Android 6.0.1. So to access those, press and hold the enter button down here and then drag to the emojis, and you've got all kinds of new emojis. There's 200 new emoji, and you guys can see they range from food to animals. So there's all kinds of new animals here. There were also some new hand gestures. You guys can see the new hand gestures there. You have the option to do the do not disturb until the next alarm, which is great because say you put your phone on do not disturb mode and then you wake up in the morning, you forget to turn do not disturb off. Well, now you risk the chance of missing calls and text messages that may be important on your way to work or wherever you may be going. With this feature, it automatically turns do not disturb off after your alarm plays, you're awake. There's no need for you to have do not disturb. Uh, so that way you're not missing any calls or text messages or any important communications that you may have otherwise missed. The other feature is that this build adds band 12 to the next 6P and 5X. Now this is gonna give you better LTE connectivity on the GSM carriers. Other than that, there are just various bug fixes. That about wraps it up for the 6.0.1 build. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.